We got a few more stops left in DR. We still in the mountains. Of course, we hanging out. We having a good time. A lot of good food. We showing you what's going on in DR in the mountains. There's a lot up here. Don't just go to the beaches. Y'all need to check out these mountains. A lot up here to do, a lot to see. Enjoy the video. Is it a dessert? No, it's like a breakfast thing. Oh, but they only for breakfast. Not only for you can eat it anytime, but it's mainly for breakfast. Like you can get that with a cup of coffee. That's a breakfast. Okay. And it's homemade and it's popular over here on Harvard. So it's made with corn. Corn meal. It's famous from here, yeah. Uh huh. Mm. It tastes like a. Uh, it's made out of corn. It's translated to. The it's made in an oven? Yeah. Familia Capellan. Mm. Capellan family. She's uh, the fun. Okay. It's made in wood. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's good. When I say I'm traveling this country, trying all this good food, this arepa, it tastes like a sweet cornmeal that's not fully cooked, but then it has other ingredients in it. When I say it was good, it's heavy. So the prices were good. And she told me only in this area, this is where it's known. So people will come to this area to get this. And this is what you eat with coffee, or you can eat it throughout the day. When I say it was good, man, it was good. I think we're already in Horbacoa. Oh, we about to enter it. Just a cool little side. So let me stop and get this on camera. This all wood, hand painted. It's pretty nice. Got the different resorts, restaurants. Rancho. Got a lot up here. Villas. You got your own personal advertisement. This is the main road. Probably about five minutes, 10 minutes away. This is how country it is. Okay, there's some big. I think we got some chickens down there. Kind of like you need to eat some more. They let you get close up on them. Woo! All right now. Got me in trouble. One thing about DR, you can go down the street and you don't know it's a one way. So I'm joking with it because the police pulled me over. No, <laughs> Hey, you got. Uh huh. This is their downtown area with the umbrellas. This they they known street. Check those backgrounds out. We out here chilling. Finally, it's sunny today. It's been cloudy most of the time I've been here. You remember the bus? Oh. Got a big teacup. Got a lot going on. What's up?
selling a lot of stuff. This is a tourist town more than I remember. Got a lot of people out here selling things. Got a lot of locals. I've seen a handful of foreigners. Good mixture. These some cool, cool little bikes. Got the old folks hanging out. Nice little chill spot. Ah, oh, there it is. You see it? Bond? Mm -hmm. Nice little spot. Nice. This is cool. They get you a little shuttle to and from the restaurant. Oh, it's a tour. Tour company. I guess to take you all around. Take you through the lake. It's a nice spot. I ate here a few times. Got some good food. It is hot today. Some good looking food. Got some grill. Well, they got we got three different chickens grilled. This is like a stew. This is fried, and we got the rice, salad, beans. Looks good. So this is yuca. It's sweet and it's kind of it's hard. It's not hard in the middle though, but it tastes real good. They got some sugar in it. It's something I never had before, but it's real good. Nombre. Arepa. Ah, I can't say that word. Okay. Harbaco is a small town in the mountains. This will also be considered a campo. There's not a lot up here. This main area with this street, you got two blocks of restaurants. There are also restaurants, stores, and shops around. One thing that I was surprised about was seeing all the big buildings in this town. I'm showing the life of how people live and what's going on in these towns. I was shocked to see that it was pretty built. This town will remind me, or oh, it's equivalent to like a Colorado. You go to Colorado for, you know, the scenery, the views, the mountains, the rivers, but there's no snow here. Horobacoa, I was told, is known for the rich locals having vacation and second homes up in the mountains. I was told a lot of people with money, they will fly by helicopter to their house. It's up in the mountains. You driving through these mountains and you seeing houses up out in the middle of nowhere. And sometimes you ask yourself, how do you even get to it? There are a lot of small roads that were paved for some of these houses. But this area is also known for an international school they have. I saw the international school from one of the viewpoints I was at but the question was how did this school end up being here in the middle of nowhere and they said it's one of the best schools here in Dominican Republic this is a real chill place there's a lot of people out drinking four wheeling you will see that it's something you have to be careful with I've seen a lot of groups of people four wheeling and they will have a drink in their hand they won't get stopped that's just what they do they come up here to party there's a lot of water rafting up here i didn't get a chance to go to the river that they are rafting on but there are a lot of small rivers throughout horobacoa there are a lot of resorts that's built out here and half of them you can't see from the streets or if you on a trail or on a road you won't see it because it's tucked off within a couple miles on the land very beautiful up here there are a lot of locals that still live here a lot of locals on land but the main part of Horbacor this money is coming from somewhere else or wealthy people beautiful place I'm saying be I just said beautiful so many times since I've been here in Dominican because that's just what it is this is an hour away 
from Santiago. So if you're flying into Santiago, you can go spend a day or two up in Horrible Core. If you do plan on going to the beach, Santiago is an hour and a half from the beaches. You got access to a lot within a few hours drive. I would recommend people to go up there and check it out. We found ice cream. We're in Bond. This like one of the most known ice cream spots. You will find these everywhere. That's all the ingredients. Your own flavors. Nice small spot. Then you got the view right in front of you. Huge tree. No telling how old it is. Gotta be old because they built the center around it. Who knows how old this is, but it's pretty nice. Oh, it's, a, it's a church right here. They in service. What's up? Hi. Check those views out in the back. A lot of stores out here. A lot of shopping, small stores. The breeze is nice right now. And it's covered. Man, this tree is crazy. I don't know if you can see, like, I don't know if it's leaves or what growing off. The big branches. spots to have some drinks. The pictures of that chicken look good. Juan Pablo. He was born in 1813, passed away 1876. So this is this is the tree here without the center like it was just built in 2005 but this tree I don't uh, somebody have to translate for me but it might have been there 1851 if that's what that means it's real nice here they over here eating their ice cream well most of it is yogurt good they gusta You touched it. <laughs> I was trying to get her to touch it over here, but it was too high. Yes, good job. It's real nice. One of the restaurants over there. Playing some music. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, you got it. We were headed further up in the mountains where more of the locals live and you can see the scenery change. You will see more local houses. But within these locals, you can look back and it'll be a huge house back there. Enjoy the ride.
there. Ah, okay. Man, it's far out there. It's far. We go down and turn back to the restaurant. That's good. So this little guy down here, I asked my friend, why is he up here on the roof? And he told me that they're training him to be a fighter. So they isolate him from the other roosters 
and they put them up here for a majority of the day then they bring them down to walk around in the grass and bathe them I'm trying to figure out why this this rooster is up here on this roof and he has water he has food yeah, I found that interesting so they come up here and climb up on the roof different times of the day then he'll be down but he spends most of his day on the roof so learn something new today it's a nice restaurant in Corbacola oh, up at the entrance like they're probably cooking the meats, the chicken, with the firewood. It's real nice. So this restaurant is one of the most known restaurants in Horobacoa. I usually don't give bad reviews. I'm st I, this isn't a bad review, but their signature dish is the grilled chicken or rotisserie chicken, whichever way you want to call it. I would have to say this was one of the most driest chicken I had. The seasoning, everything was good. I don't know if the chicken was from a day prior and they reheated it or they overcooked it but it was dry. I did get the ribs. The ribs were good. It's a bit overrated for me. I mean, the views are nice. The place is very nice. But if you want some real authentic, better chicken for half the price, go hang out with the locals.